Welcome to our second Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial series, Galactic Mail. This is our first tutorial. If you missed our first series, Evil Clutches, and I suggest strongly that you click on the link that will appear here somewhere, I hope, and go back and have a look at that tutorial series. In this very first um, tutorial, we're going to go through and set the scene for the rest of this series. Okay, well, building upon the knowledge that we developed in our last series, um, our level three objective in this tutorial series is to understand how to make objects travel in a specific direction, wrap around the screen, and interact with other objects within a multi-level game. And to do that, you'll have to develop some skills, some more skills. You'll have to learn about the end step event, the animation end event, and the alarm event. You'll have to learn about the actions of set direction variables, wrap around the room, jump to point, set sprite, change instance, get score, draw value, set alarm. If room is last, go to next room and get instance count. You also need to develop an understanding of the concepts about room layers, sub images, and sprite animation, object coordinates, direction, collision masks, title screens, rooms, levels, and room order game scenario for this tutorial series is that you play an intergalactic mail carrier who must deliver mail to a number of inhabited moons. You must fly safely, sorry, you must safely steer a course from moon to moon while avoiding dangerous asteroids. You are paid for each delivery you make, but pay is deducted for spending time hanging around on the moons. This adds pressure to the difficult task of orientating your rickety old rocket, which you cannot steer very well in space. For this game, we've developed some specifications. You'll have a spaceship object, which lands on the moon. It's destroyed by asteroids. The A and D key will spend it left and right. Um, pressing space will launch it. It scores 500 points for landing and loses points whilst landed. You have moon and asteroid objects, which the moons move in a random directions and the asteroids also move in random directions. Um, you'll have several levels um, which will progress when all moons are visited on one particular level and you get a bonus score of a thousand points when each level is completed. In the aesthetics we're going to have background images and music, we're going to have sounds for ship launching and ship landing, explosion sounds and animations and a splash screen and of course you must play without error. In this particular tutorial you are going to create the moons and the asteroids, which both move in random directions, as well as create the background image. Okay, so welcome to our next adventure in Game Maker Studio 2. So we've done a little preparation. Now we need to create a couple of objects. And the two objects we're going to create is a moon object and a um, asteroid object, as well as a background image. So same as we did with the last one with evil clutches. We start our objects by creating the sprites. So I'm going to import a sprite here and I'm going to improve port the moon gif and this is going to be all very familiar yeah go ahead with that same naming conventions spr underscore moon I'm going to edit the image and get rid of that awful green around the outside um, and make it no not white make it transparent that's the color that I want close that back down here don't have to worry about any kind of speed because it's not an animated one and we now have a moon sprite oops just changed the centering um, actually that's a good point because what we're going to do we're going to make our, our origin actually be middle and center for this one see the little x there so that's actually where zero zero is on this sprite right in the middle there um, i'm going to do that for all the sprites in this game and you'll see why a little bit later on so I've made the sprite so okay so now that we've made the sprite I'm gonna make the object a lot of this is just what we did in our last tutorial so OBJ same naming convention moon I'm gonna add a sprite the sprite that we had moon there and we're going to create a create event because on the create event we want when the moon appears we want it to move in a direction now we've previously used this one the set direction or we've used the set direction random 
what we're going to do is actually choose set direction variable so rather than just being like we go into set direction here fix we've got only eight possible directions it can go instead we are going to be using this one six direction variable which actually works on degrees so we can give 360 degrees for our options of the directions it can go so I'm just going to what we want is the moon to move in a relative direction um, in a random direction so in here I'm just going to type um, start typing random and look it actually accepts it gives a suggestion of random X which is what I want random X and that goes to 360 so it's 360 degrees um, it gives me a value between one and uh, between yeah, 1 and 360. Just interesting, if I get rid of those things, see those little red marks there? It means that there's an error in this box. So that could help you with your error or your troubleshooting shooting later on. Don't want a relative, you want a value between 0 and 360 for it to run around. And then we also need to, as before, set the speed. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there and go nowhere. And the speed is going to be 4. Radio. Now, so that's the first thing we want the moon to move in a particular direction. When the moon gets to the edge of the screen, we don't want it to bounce like we did in Evil Clutches. Instead, we want it to um, appear on the other side. So I'm going to say other, and it's again outside room. So if the moon is outside room, we know that we've used that event before. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it to wrap, um, to wrap around the room. So let's see if I can find that here. Pretty sure it's a movement. Is it here? Set direction, reverse. No, no, jump to point. Wrap around room, there we are, beautiful. Wrap around room, we don't want about margins. We want it to wrap both horizontal and vertical. It doesn't matter if it goes out the top of the screen or the side of the screen. We want it to wrap either way and appear around. And so that should be our moon event actually created, our moon object created. Now, I need to make the asteroid object. So let's go up here, right mouse click create sprite and I'm going to import my sprite and I'm going to import my asteroid gift so open asteroid gift yeah open that up thank you and oh I've got an animation here again and this is a huge animation if you see a same second to load in we got lots we've got look here 180 frames which funny enough 180 is like oh uh, for 360 so basically every two degrees turn um, we have a new asteroid so it's the same image just turn, turning slightly anyhow same deal give it sprite underscore asteroid um, if I spelt it correctly yes I did well and then we need to edit the image we need to go in here and click on the very first one slide all the way along to the end and slide all the way along to the end Click on the last one, they all selected, there they are, and then remove that black color background. Beautiful, so we should now have a rotating, so I'll move it slowly, you can see it. Okay, the rotating asteroid becomes here. Now I can test that by actually letting it save and changing my speed. I don't want rotating too fast, so let's just see how this goes. That's good cool, because it's asteroids, they don't turn too fast. Well, they move fast. You can wipe out dinosaurs, but they don't turn too fast. So, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, that's all I need to do for that one, creating the asteroid. Oh, I'm going to set the origin again too. Set origin, instead of being at the top here, I need the origin to be middle and center down here. Right now, because that's where we want everything to turn around that particular point. So, uh, asteroid finished, our uh, sprites finished, let's make the asteroid object. Right, now let's click create object, create object, um, obj um, asteroid, and choose a sprite, which is the asteroid sprite. And again, it's the exact same as what we're going to do with the moon, is that we're going to add what we do with the moon, a create event, and the create event is going to be set in a variable direction, and that direction is going to be random. Just type random x and 360, I think it's 360 degrees, and I'm going to set a speed as well, and the same speed as the other one, which is speed of 4 as well. And if it goes outside a room, we want it to wrap around the room both horizontal and vertical. 
Okay, so now we've got both of those. Let's uh, plonk these into a room and see what happens. So open the room up and our room zero, there he is. And we're going to put one moon in there and a couple of asteroids. Right now, let's just make it one. Let's see how it goes. Let's play. And there they are. And they're all moving. You can see the asteroids are moving slowly. So that's our three. We got how we wanted. Okay, cool. So now the next thing we do is to fix that background because it looks really, really bad. So, and we know that from um, evil clutches. Come back to here. Bring you back out. Remember to make the background. We come up here. We still got to make a sprite. We make this the. Uh, we, sorry, not edit image. We low import the image, and this is the background here. Hello, background. And we say yes. Bring it in. And then we want to go um, SPR underscore background. Okay. And we've made our background there. Come in here. And then we can open our room up again. And in the room editor over here on the background layer, we choose the background sprite. We go, um, we want it to stretch. So it fills out the entire lot. And oh, we have a beautiful spacescape. So. Just checking that we've got that all, we've got that all done. So there we are. If I again press play, you will see that we have our spacecape that our whole story is going to unfold upon. Well, there we go. The scene is set. You have moons and asteroids moving around the wonderful background image of space that we have set up. And to achieve that, we had to learn about the set direction variable and the wrap around the room actions, as well as understanding the concept of room layers.